now we are seeing a problem from the topic principal stresses and strains let us see the problem the tensile stresses at a point across two mutually perpendicular planes are 120 newton per mm square and 60 newton per mm square determine the normal tangential and resultant stresses on a plane inclined at 30 degrees to the axis of the minor stress so here uh, the tensile stresses at a point uh, on two mutual perpendicular planes are given like this so we are taking the two mutual perpendicular in x and y direction we are taking like that and uh, and here we are representing the major stress in x direction that is 120 newton per mm square and uh, minor stress uh, as uh, 60 newton per mm square like this and here uh, uh, the angle of the oblique plane on which we are supposed to find out the normal and shear stresses so that uh, oblique plane is making an angle of 30 degrees with the minor uh, stress axis of the minor stress so this is a minor stress and if you see so this is representing the axis of minor stress so with this this oblique plane is making 30 degrees so on this oblique plane we are supposed to find out normal and tangential or shear stress and also resultant stress uh, on this oblique plane so here the theta value is 30 degrees and if you see uh, in our uh, discussion or derivation we are taking angle theta with this plane so if you take uh, with this plane or uh, with this in this direction both are same why because if you see one uh, in this diagram so this is 30 degrees and this is oblique plane with the minor uh, uh, stress with minor axis uh, minor stress axis in this case so this angle and if you if you see the angle with the uh, cross section if you see like that uh, so both are same why because this uh, these two are the alternate angles so so this is same as the theta value so this is uh, theta directly we can take 30 degrees so our aim is to find out normal and shear stress and also resultant stress on this oblique plane so for uh, normal stress on the oblique plane in the case of two uh, stresses subjected to two stresses is given by this formula sigma n is equals to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 cos 2 theta so friends for the uh, proof or derivation of this formula that is normal stress on the oblique plane uh, shear stress formula derivation and also resultant stress please refer my uh, previous video on principal stresses and strains that is uh, case 2 video so anyway this is a formula this gives the normal stress on this oblique plane so here in this uh, case we are taking the major as uh, sigma x 120 minor uh, as sigma y 60 so let us substitute here and uh, when you substitute and then simplify and here theta value is 30 and if you uh, simplify here it is a 90 first term plus this is 30 into cos 60 is 1 by 2 and when you simplify that we are getting normal stress value sigma n as 105 newton per mm square and in the same way if you find out tangential stress the formula is sigma t is equals to sigma x minus sigma y by 2 sin 2 theta and here a sigma x value 120 uh, it is 60 given and uh, sin 2 into 30 and when you simplify this is 30 and uh, this is sin 60 value 0 0.866 and if you simplify that uh, we are getting tangential stress as 25.98 newton per mm square and the resultant stress is given by the formula sigma r is equals to under root of sigma n square plus uh, sigma t square you see a normal stress is uh, perpendicular to this oblique plane and the uh, tangential stress along this plane and when you take resultant of uh, those two so that resultant is given by this formula sigma r is equal to root of sigma n square plus sigma t square so uh, sigma n we got 105 and sigma t we got 25.98 and if you simplify that we are getting resultant stress on the oblique plane as uh, 108.16 newton per mm square so for more videos please subscribe and activate bell symbol and also please share my videos with your friends and also please follow our channel on facebook for which i am giving this link in description thanks for watching